Welcome back. It's Friday. How's everybody doing? We are doing well here. We are in for a frigid Arctic cold blast that's coming through. Our days are going to be maybe in the teens and our nights are going to be in the single digit. So needless to say, we don't have anywhere to go. So that's a good thing because it is going to be cold here. So what will we do? We'll work on videos for you all. Okay. And we'll cook. <laughs> So I hope this video finds you well. I hope everything is good with you. Today, we're just doing a vlog. What I want to talk to you about is number one, what I need you to start tracking. What do you mean tracking? I'll tell you. Number two, we're going to take a brownie mix and we are going to elevate it to the most decadent level. Honestly, we are going to take this brownie mix and just make it extreme. And then I also want to share for you my no sew pillow wrap technique that I showed you a while ago, several months ago, but we're implementing it today for our upstairs room. And I want to show you the pillows I'm using, the fabric and how we're incorporating anything. And it's completely no cost. So if these all sound good to you, stick around. We're so excited you're here. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul, he's behind the camera, and we are an early retirement couple living in the state of New York, and basically our channel just shows you how to have a more abundant, joyful life by spending less money. So let's get right to this video. Number one, I wanna to talk to you about what I am going to ask you to track. You know how I am a big, big, proponent of tracking your spending. We have to. You cannot have a budget unless you know where your money is going. And you know I have told you to track everything from that drive-through happy meal to your cup of coffee in the morning at Starbucks. Everything has to be written down. We can't utilize our money to the best of its ability unless we know where it's going and what we're doing with it. But we also have another commodity that is extremely precious that I think sometimes we forget about, and that's our time. Do you sometimes feel like you have no time for anything? Like I am so busy, I can't find time to do anything. Or maybe you're at the other end of the spectrum where you're saying, I have zero motivation. I have the day in front of me and I don't know what to do with it. I don't feel like doing anything. If either of these two scenarios sound like you, then stick around because I have something that I really want to share with you. Our time is so precious and what we do with it really can impact our lives. Now, what am I talking about? Basically, I want you to start tracking your time. Emmy, I don't have time to track my time. Listen to me. This will help you so much. It will change the way you look at your day. Now, I'm not talking about putting in schedules like a doctor's appointment here and I have to go food shopping here. I'm talking about recording the hours in the day and what you're doing with them. And what this will do is show you exactly where your time is being spent. Is it being spent on things that enhance your life and bring you joy and make you smile? Or is it being spent on things that we're mindlessly doing because we don't know what else to do? Just as we invest our money wisely and we look for the best prices on items and we put our money away for when we need it, we need to do the same things with our time. We need to take our time and invest it wisely. And how are we going to do this? We're going to do it by tracking it. And I mean, I want you to track everything. Every time you scroll aimlessly through your phone, how many hours of TV are you watching? And you will be surprised. It will be completely eye-opening. Are there things you want to accomplish? I pulled out my 2021 goals. And I was looking through them and I was like, Emmy, you need to get motivated just a little bit more. We all have the same time in our day, but I'm not getting as much done as I want to. I'm not. 
and why. What am I doing instead of doing what I need to do? I, I can tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> um, possibly scrolling the internet. I am possibly watching a little too much TV that I should be watching. I am dawdling, I'm decluttering something, and then I find a stack of letters that I have to read through. So these are all just time wasters for me. So I need to look and see where this time can be better spent. When we track our money, we see where it's wasted sometimes. We can see where our leaks are in our budget, but do we see where the leaks are sometimes in our time? Now, I'm not talking about your downtime. We all have downtime. Everybody needs downtime, me time. Whether it's watching a show on TV for a little while or reading a book, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the big pockets of the day that are not being filled with things that will enhance our lives. Time is a commodity. Time can be spent in whatever way we want it to be spent, just like money. And at the end of the day, when you look and you see your budget is flush, you feel super good. When you look at the end of the day at how you spent your time, I had 30 minutes today to do all my meal planning because I stopped scrolling the internet. Or you stopped yourself from talking on the phone in a non-edifying conversation maybe. There are so many different things we can switch out one for another. The goal here by tracking your time is to accomplish things that you really want to accomplish. Things that will benefit you, that will enhance your life. What is important to us? How do we want to spend our time? And the only way we're going to see where we're coming up short is if we track our time. If you just take a notebook or you use your journal, even print a free download off the computer, you can just search free time tracking printable and it will show you like the hours of the day and then just jot down what you're doing and when you're doing it and how long it's taking you. Now this doesn't mean you rush through your day. That's not what I'm saying and we try to get as much done. No. What I'm saying is there may be pockets of time there that you are spending doing something that maybe is not what you really want to be doing and you can switch it out for something that brings joy and enhances your life. Now I know we all don't want to be doing housework and we don't want to be washing clothes and washing floors, but that's a necessity. I'm talking about time wasters. Things that we don't need to be doing, but maybe we're doing. And they can be replaced with something so much more beneficial. Just as if we're using our money for emotional spending when we should be using it to pay bills. So that's all we're doing is swapping our time. So I hope this was encouraging. I hope this was just motivating just a little bit because we are in the, the throes of winter right now and the days can seem really short and that we don't seem to have enough time. Be productive. I have to be productive. I'm encouraging you as well. Now I'm gonna share this brownie recipe that we're taking to my in-laws for their once a month meal that we're making them. And I just want to show you what we did and how we elevated it. So let's go right to there. As you know, we are giving Paul's parents a meal a month for the next year. And tomorrow is the day we are bringing it and we are giving them lasagna, salad, bread, and dessert. Paul's dad is 90 and I believe his mom is going to be 89 in March, right Paul? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. And they have no dietary restrictions. God bless them, they can eat pretty much anything and they enjoy eating, which is just such a blessing. And what I wanted to do was make them something chocolatey. They love brownies, but I wanted to elevate it a little bit. So I went online and we're going to try a new recipe. It calls for an 18.4 ounce box of brownie mix, which I had if you remember my haul, I forget what we paid for them, but oh, I think we paid 77 cents a box, if I'm not mistaken. 
You need one stick of melted butter cooled, a third cup of milk, two eggs, a teaspoon of espresso powder, but espresso powder is very strong. I'm going to just use instant coffee, a quarter cup of baking cocoa, and then whatever add-ins you prefer. I am adding a half a cup of chopped walnuts because I know they love them. Now what we're going to do is, even though this calls for a 13 by nine inch pan, we are going to do it in a nine by nine inch pan, which means our brownies are gonna be a little bit thicker and richer, more delicious for them. So the first thing I'm going to do is grease my pan with my butter wrapper. The pan is greased. Now what I'm going to do is I wanna dissolve my one teaspoon of coffee granules. So I'm gonna put them in the butter and I'm just gonna give this a little mix just to get these to dissolve a little, at least to soften them. Most brownie mixes ask you to mix them by hand, but this one actually tells you to beat it with a beater for one minute. So we're emptying our brownie mix in. Remember, it has to be the 18.4 size. And then I'm just going to add the butter with the coffee, granules in it. Now I'm going to add the third cup of milk and the two eggs. My in-laws have tea time every day around three o'clock and I thought this would be a nice addition to add to their tea time, as well as a dessert, something sweet after dinner. And then I have the quarter cup of cocoa powder. I'm just gonna mix this for one minute on medium. I mix this with my beater for about one minute. It is extremely thick. Now I'm going to add my half a cup of walnuts. Whatever add-ins you want to add, add at this point. If you're adding chocolate chips or a different kind of nut, whatever you want to add, this would be the time. And just mix it through. Okay, so we're going to go over to our nine inch pan, nine by nine, and we are going to put this in. So we spread it out. And let me tell you, it's a little bit thick, but that's okay. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is put this in the oven. Because it's a smaller pan, I'm gonna cook it about 35 minutes and check it at that point. I'm gonna cook it in a 350 oven. These look amazing. We're gonna cut into them because you can't give somebody something if you haven't tasted it. So I'm gonna have Paul taste a little corner and see how they came out. They rose beautifully. They cooked about 40 minutes. Now, we did not follow the directions on the box. We followed the recipe that I gave you, and that will be linked down below, but of course, I always modify. So let's see how it tastes. I've got my taste tester here. He has been out doing wood in like sub below zero weather. How are you feeling, hon? Tired. Yeah, Tired. he's unshaving, but you're getting to see the real Paul here. You, you can't shave when you're out in this weather. This yeah, helps, this little bit of scruff helps protect your cheeks. Okay, let's take a peek at that brownie. How's it looking? Tut it sideways? Yeah, nice and thick, looks kinda. Mm -hmm. All right, this is honest now, Paul. Tell me how you think. All right. Good enough to give to your folks. Oh. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give it to them. I, would, <laughs> I think that we should keep it here. No, this is good. They're going to enjoy this. Does Maybe a little powdered sugar over the top, or you could do a lot. You could even do like a marshmallow, uh, like a melted marshmallow on the top of it if you wanted, but it's great just the way it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Is it better than a regular box mix? Does oh, it yeah. Taste? Yeah, the nuts, you can taste the coffee, the chocolate. Um, it's definitely thicker. It's moister on the inside. Look at that. It's just, 
No, it's very, very delicious. Okay, really? Yeah, no, you doctor these things up beautifully. You did a great job. Aw, oh, stop. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yay. <laughs> they are amazing, those brownies. Oh, my goodness. And now what I want to do is take you upstairs with me. We're going to do our no sew pillow folding. And I'll show you the fabric we use, the pillows we use, and how we dressed up the old couch from downstairs. So let's head on up. All right, so we're upstairs in the music room, and what we did was we brought the downstairs couch upstairs. And those two stripes, sorry, that is um, the sun coming through the blinds. But what I wanted to do was put some throw pillows, make it look a little homier, a little warmer. The couch is in great condition, but it's kind of blah. So what I did was I have a Christmas pillow that I use for a month a year that is going to be stuck in a closet so i figured that would be perfect to wrap the old red pillow that actually has like little pills on it and i needed a fabric that would go with the yellow walls and the red couch so this is what we came up with as we were decluttering i had taken a stack of fabric from my mom and dad's house when we sold the estate and there was a fabric in there that is absolutely perfect. Wait till I show you this. So what I did was I cut the fabric into a, it's 36 by 36, a square. Okay, so I have two pieces that are both 36 by 36. And I'm going to put this in kind of a diamond. That's exactly what you want. You want the point facing towards you and a point facing away from you. Now I'm gonna take our pillow, put it right in the middle, and I am going to flip it like this. And then I'm gonna flip it over again. And then I'm gonna take this little edge and I'm gonna bring it forward. I'm gonna bring this over, I'm gonna bring this over, and tie it. Here we go. Flip it over, give it a couple of pulls on the points of the pillow. Okay, and now, look at this. Look at how perfect. Oh my goodness, now let's do one more. So this is just a standard 15 inch pillow. We're gonna start down here in the corner. We're gonna flip that over like that. Make our little point, flip. Bring this over to here. Bring this side to here, this side to here. I love this tip. You can dress up a room with things that you have around the house. Look at this. I think it dresses up the whole room. What do you think? Of course, I'm gonna be fluffing them and moving them, but I think it just brightens up the whole couch. What do you think, Paul, look good? Yeah, it looks great. I mean, so fun. Super easy, two minutes, stuff around the house. And we're good. I'm back. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. We appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We just try to give you a little encouragement, a little practical tip, and of course, a yummy dessert. If you enjoyed this, by all means, please give it a thumbs up. And I wanna thank you so much for clicking on our commercials in the beginning. We see a difference already in just watching, in you all just being so kind to watch that 10 or 15 second of commercial. Thank you, it means so much to us and it really helps us out in supporting the channel. Please remember, be well, stay safe, we love you, and by all means, please remember, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, bye-bye.